Now, this is really, really interesting stuff. So Marvel has hit a little bit of a roadblock. They're having a little bit of a problem getting Shang-Chi and Eternals in every theater that they want to get them in. Now, with the box office in the state that it's in, these movies really need to go everywhere. If you release a movie in North America, you're not really going to make that much money right now because of the way everything is working out. So these movies need to go to China. Chang chi was especially t- uh, tailored to try to get a big piece of that China box office, which is huge. I think, well, they're without a doubt the number one box office right now. You can make a lot of money in China still, and you can make a lot of money in a couple other places, but I'd say without a doubt, the Chinese box office is the biggest there is right now. It was actually like that before the coup and everything, but now it is number one. Now, to walk back a little bit, I did a video talking about Shang-Chi, and I said, this movie looks fun, looks like a martial arts movie. Uh, I'm interested in that. It's a little bit. It's a little bit different from the typical Marvel stuff that we've been getting for a long time. And I love a good martial arts movie. Let's let's give it a go. And that was pretty much it. Then, of course, there was the Mickey Minaj stuff with her fan base. That also was a big thing for a minute. He also kind of bent the knee to them, by the way. He released a video of him singing one of her songs. So I, it is what it is. But one thing that I said, and it turns out might have something to it, is that this movie is obviously, from the way they've set this up, kind of kind of a little, it's a little stereotyped. And it might be one of the reasons why this movie has been effectively, from what they're reporting here, blocked in China. Now, this doesn't mean, it's it's not just Shang-Chi, it's the Eternals as well. I'm going to go over why both of them are having some trouble in China. But one of the things that I pointed out in this movie is that they're obviously really pushing for China money. They want to get a big slice of that Chinese box office. And it's a it's a very different market over there. It's like you do this, it's it's not guaranteed that you're going to get money. You're kind of you're kind of insulting the audience in a lot of ways by trying to pander to them. And people don't like phony shit. They just don't. They don't like phony shit and it'll turn them off. China has its own Hollywood. They don't need well, they they do want to take over. They've invested heavily in our in our in our movies over here. They're big investors in Hollywood. That'd take a whole video to go over, but the point is they have their own Hollywood in China. People, when they go to see American movies, they want to see the American like stuff. They they are Western stuff or different areas. If they want to see a Chinese movie, they can go see a Chinese movie every day, right? These exist over there. So when they put this stuff over here and they're pandering to that audience, Sometimes they don't like that shit. They don't like it. It would be like, this would be like, you know, some other country making an American blockbuster and like trying to simulate that, you know, instead of just doing something that a lot of people would want to appreciate. So this appears to be one of the reasons why Shang-Chi at least is being turned off to them. Like, why they might do it. So rather stereotyped, more broadly speaking, initial reaction to the film's poster and trailer across China speaking regions has been critical with many commenters in China, Taiwan and Hong Kong agreeing that it seems prepared to deliver a rather stereotyped view of Chinese people and culture full of Kung Fu lanterns and the color red and pagodas. These are characters created solely for the purpose of getting a slice of the big cake that is Chinese enormous box office. There is no soul. There is no soul in them at all. 
The hodgepodge of Asian elements in the movie are unintelligible, one mainlander wrote. On both the Hong Kong and Taiwan official Marvel YouTube channels, fans expressed similar frustration. It feels like this will be on the same level as the live action version of Mulan, one wrote of their expectations for authenticity. So that was another thing over on those channels. And I believe I pointed that out in my video, like it was getting ratioed and the comments weren't very good. So Mulan was a big disaster over there. People didn't like it. It was like pandering. And it's the same feeling that Mulan, the same thing that was going on with Mulan seems to be happening with Shang-Chi. And I said this could happen. I think the movie will do very well over here in the West, but I don't think it's going to do very well over in China, which is what they want. Uh, it's all about greed. They're not trying to deliver an authentic experience for people over there. Uh, they are trying to deliver a stereotyped experience to try to maximize as much money as they can get. And you can't really fault them for that. But like I said, people can see through phony shit. And that's exactly what's going on. And then Eternals is a whole nother problem. Eternals, apparently the director for Eternals is the same woman who won an award for No Man, Nomadland. I didn't see that movie, so I don't know much about it. But apparently the director said something about how, you know, she's more American now. Like America is her country and and she's not really interested in China anymore. And this has had a big backlash in China. Uh, so, I mean, you have to understand, like, the the movies in, in China aren't a free market. They're heavily controlled by the government over there. It's a communist nation. So this is one of the reasons why, like, a good example is the new Top Gun movie that's coming out. If you remember, Tom Cruise and his jacket originally had, I think, a, a, I think it was like a Taiwan or a Hong Kong flag on his jacket. He had to change that to something else. Uh, I'm, I'm not getting that exactly right, but basically there was something that the, the government in China didn't like on his jacket, and they had to change that. Uh, they are very capable of getting things changed. So you can't really change the director. And this is speculation, by the way. I, they None of this is official. They're speculating on why these movies are hitting a roadblock in China here. But a lot of this stuff kind of makes sense. So the director for Eternals is the big one. And then the rest is the Shang-Chi stuff. Uh, we got some Fu Manchu stuff here. I guess this is a, a big offensive thing to China. Uh this is Chang Chi's father in the comics. Uh, he starts off as a villain, and then it's revealed that he's his father. This isn't a big stereo. This isn't a big spoiler. It's it's out there for a while now. Apparently, this character is extremely offensive to people in China. So Marvel's like, well, we'll just go ahead and we'll replace him. We'll make him the Mandarin. And people aren't stupid. They're seeing this. They're saying, well, he's still Fu Manchu. Like, you just changed the name and we're supposed to be okay, even though he fits all of these stereotypes that we don't like. You know? Like, and, and they're and they're and they're and they're they're not buying the bullshit, basically. So rather interesting. What's Marvel gonna do here? You can't change this movie. Like, <laughs> Shang Chi's already been shot completely. I mean, I think they'll be fine and they'll figure out a way to get these movies in the box office over there. But I really don't think, I don't think Shang Chi is going to do very well over there. I think it'll do all right over here in the West. In fact, I think it'll do gangbusters over here in the West, but over there, I don't think it's going to do very well. Mulan was a disaster and you know, they can smell that they can smell what's in the air with these movies and they don't like it. It's a very different market over there. And like I said, they already have their own Hollywood. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. 
Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.